Welcome or welcome back to Watch Advice on YouTube. It's Alexander speaking, your host, and in this video, I will present you two additions to the current Patek Philippe collection. The first one is a chronograph perpetual calendar, the reference 5270P. P, yes, P stands for platinum, of course, with a lacquered green dial. And the second is a chronograph, the reference 5172G. G stands for the French word gris and means white gold. And this chronograph has a rose gilt opaline dial. Yeah, you remember the chronograph, of course, you have seen it before. It was presented in 2019 with a blue dial, as well as you, of course, all remember the chronograph perpetual calendar that has been presented in different executions many years ago already. Since, as you all probably know, with the 5270P, the manually wound um, CH29535PSQ caliber was developed by Patek Philippe already in the year 2011, as well as the manually wound caliber CH29535PS powering the 5172G reference. It was already introduced in the year 2009. So we see well-known well -known watches or well-known mechanics that are powering these watches in new executions, cool watches. So have fun watching that video. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Let me start with the reference 5270P, as I said before, P for Platinum. The watch is powered by that legendary manually wound caliber CH. CH in the Patek Philippe world stands for chronograph 29535 uh, Petit Second Quantième PS and Q. Caliber Q stands for Quantième, so meaning for perpetual calendar. It was, as I said it before, introduced in the year 2011. It's six patents that are protecting this innovation. The new version, the version that now has been presented at Watches and Wanderers uh, some months ago, has a lacquered green dial with black gradient rim. It has white gold faceted hour markers, white gold faceted dauphine hour and minute hands. So what do you see? You have a day a month, you have day month in a double aperture or window, if you want to call it that way, at 12 o'clock. You have a day, night and leap year indication in a round aperture, giving you the indications of day, night and leap year. And yes, you have a date by hand at six o'clock. Then, of course, yeah. Don't forget the moon face indication, of course. So the platinum case is entirely polished with a concave basil and a two tile lugs. And look closely, what do you see in between the lugs at six o'clock position? Yes, that's the famous diamond that Patek Philippe only applies or has or the cases have when they are made out of platinum. The pushers are satin finished on the side and polished on the top. A little detail that will bring different reflections of light when you are wearing the watch, of course. And the watch, yeah, is worn on a shiny black alligator leather strap with an olive stitching and a platinum fold over clasp. So the best of the best, what you can expect, of course. The diameter of the case is 41 millimeter. The thickness of the case is 12.4 millimeter. And the case is waterproof, or maybe it's better to say water protected until 30 meters. So yeah, that's how it is. And that's not a diver. That's not a watch one should wear to dive or to swim or to jump into the pool. That's a watch, yeah, a sports chronograph that should be worn <laughs> on ground, but not in water. Here comes a little detail I also want to talk about the fact when you buy the watch, you get an interchangeable solid and sapphire crystal case back. You decide how you want to wear the watch. 
either you have the possibility to admire the chronograph caliber or not, it's up to you. So let me now run you quickly through the things you are seeing on the dial of the chronograph perpetual calendar. You have the hour hand, the minute hand, the chronograph hand, yes. As uh, subsidiary dials, you have an instantaneous 30 minute counter, the small seconds and the date. At position 12 o'clock, I mentioned it already, you have the aperture or if you want the indication of the day of the week, the month, then you have the moon phase. I said it before, leap year cycle, denial indication, yep. And two position crown pushed in, it's to wind the watch, pulled out is to set the time and to stop the second. So it has a hacking seconds. Yeah, the pushers, two o'clock start, stop, four o'clock reset. It's not a flyback chronograph. So you will have to stop the chronograph first before you can reset it. And there are some correctors, of course, on the watch to set the watch. You have a day of the week correction, the date correction, the month and year correction, and a moon phase correction. I quickly said it before, the 30 minute chronograph counter is an instantaneous acting counter, meaning when the central second hand meets or comes up to zero or 60, the next minute will be indicated instantaneously. Unfortunately, we were not able when we were filming the watches at watches and wonders to get running samples. Patrick Philippe only gave us the possibility to film these watches where the movement was stopped. Yep, a little bit disappointing, but I can't change it. I have to take it as it is, but I'm still happy that we can present you these watches in a close-up so you really have the possibility to see it as close as possible. So if you are keen to get some information about the movement, the diameter of the chronograph movement, including, yes, all the functions you need, all the wheels and everything you need to have the perpetual calendar. So the diameter is 32 millimeters. The thickness is seven millimeters. The movement consists of 456 parts. It is a four hertz movement, 28,800 semi oscillations. It has a classical hairspring with a Breguet curb and the power reserve with the chronograph disengaged is in between 55 and 65 hours. So price-wise, this uh, Platinum Chronograph with Perpetual Calendar is sold for 179,000 Swiss francs. If, I have to say, if you're one of the happy ones to have the money and to get it. Because, yeah, as we all know, it is pretty difficult to get these complications from Patek Philippe. They are very rare. The numbers they do per year are not, there are not many of them uh, that are assembled, so it is pretty difficult to get one. 179,000. In the comments, please, now, I want to hear your opinion about the Lacquered Green Dial, etc., etc. Would you like the watch, etc., etc. Please, leave your comments and I'm keen to read them. Now, it's time to swap over to the 5172G. I'm sure you all remember the 5172G with that, yeah, Stunning, beautiful blue dial. This is also the reason why we are showing both chronographs here in the video. The blue version was introduced in 2019 and the new one with the rose gilt opaline dial is the new one. So this is the addition to the current collection. So it's a manually wound chronograph with the Caliber CH for chronograph 29535 PS for Petit Second. Petit Second means more second. That's how they name the calibers, what these calibers do. It's also a chronograph that is protected by six patents. That's typical Patek Philippe. If they do something, they always include innovation. So the watch features a rose gilt opaline dial, a charcoal gray hour and minute hands and applied numerals in white gold, all filled with white luminescent coating or super luminova. The watch has a central corner of hand. The instantaneous 30 minute counter is positioned at three o'clock and the other small seconds are at nine o'clock. The watch also features a tachymeter scale printed 
in black on the Reho, the outer side of the dial. It is more or less a, as Patek says, a vintage style case in white gold with three tire locks, guilloched chronograph pushers and a sapphire crystal box glass. The watch is worn when you buy it with a shiny chocolate brown alligator leather strap with a fold over clasp. The white gold case with it already mentioned guilloched pushers has a diameter of 41 millimeters and a thickness of 11.45 millimeters. Water resistance once again 30 meters so I wouldn't even call it water resistance but water protection up to 30 meters because guys please this is not a watch you're going to swim with. There are other watches you can use, either from Patek Philippe or other brands, but this is a watch, no. Don't do it. I very much uh, recommend you to not uh, make any exercises in water with it. So what do we see on the dial? Yes, we have an hour hand, a minute hand. We have a chronograph hand, the already mentioned tacky meta scale, the instantaneous 30 minute counter and small seconds. And what do you do if you are using the watch with the crown two positions pushed in to wind the chronograph pulled out to set the time and the stop seconds and positioned at two o'clock start stop push piece for the chronograph and positioned at four o'clock you reset push piece it is not a flyback chronograph the Calibre CH295535PS is a 4 Hz movement, 28800 semi oscillation, has a classical hairspring with a Breguet overcoil, and the power reserve is without the chronograph running or disengaged. It has 65 hours of a power reserve. Price wise, there's also a price, of course. If you are lucky enough to get one or to find one, or if you have, 68,000 Swiss francs available. You can buy the watch. To get one will be probably a little bit difficult. As always, I just said it before, these complications done by Patek Philippe are quite rare. So since you were able to compare in this video the blue one directly with the new rose gilt opaline dial, which one would you prefer? More the blue one or more the rose gilt opaline? I am keen to read your comments concerning this. And of course, please, green has become a very trendy color. Recently, people are, yeah, green, green, green. Everything needs to be green. What do you think? Is the 5270P, that legendary chronograph perpetual calendar with that, uh, yeah, green, lacquered green, black, uh, yeah, the gradient that is this a watch you would buy? Do you think it is a more trendy color and one uh, buying a Patek Philippe should not follow any trends, but instead buy the watch with a more classical neutral color? Your comments. I'm keen to read them. Let's discuss and see what you think. Once again, my apologies. We couldn't get hands on running samples. It was not possible, Patek Philippe, when we filmed those watches in Geneva during Watches and Wonders only provided us the pieces you see here on the screen. Time on top was limited. We needed to really, uh, we had to really speed up everything, filming, setting up, blah, blah. It was really a little bit of a rush. So we couldn't do better than this, but I think still, I'm happy that I was able to show you these watches. And in case you have not watched yet, our video about the annual calendar and the travel time reference 5326 g g for gris or white gold this is the new spectacular travel time watch annual calendar and travel time watch if you have not watched this video please go and watch this because this was a running sample and during filming i was able to really run you through all the functions and explain you all the details and I think we are one of the only channels to have the opportunity to film a running sample where you really can discover this ingenious watch. It is so simple when you see it afterwards and then you say to yourself, why anyone else had the idea to do this first? Yeah, it always needs someone to be the first. In this case, it was Patek Philippe. Chapeau, heads off for the watch. And if you have not seen this video, please, 5326G, the annual calendar and travel time, is a video I highly 
recommend you to watch. So now, thanks for watching. Stay tuned on Watch Advice on YouTube. As always, I'm happy that you're there. Enjoy our videos, uh, be active, recommend our channel and have fun. And yeah, see you soon back here on Watch Advisor on YouTube. Bye-bye.